Well, hey guys, it's Sankan again here, bringing you another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how the saw here works. And we're going to go over both versions, although both versions are actually extremely simple and very similar. Anyway, I'm just going to take off my debug screen, and we're going to jump straight into this. So the first thing to know is what happens with this um, lever here. Well, this lever activates or deactivates that torch, which will activate this torch. Now, this will be split down two different lines. The first line is this line, and the second line is this line. It's completely symmetrical, so I'll just deal with one side. So this goes down in, through here, and then it goes through this repeater here. So I'll just... Um, put this back to how it was, like so. Yeah, so then this comes straight into this repeater here, and this comes all the way down this line, and it goes into this block here, and then it goes into another repeater, and then goes down the line, and then it comes down here. Now, I'll get on to the, that lower bit in a second, but firstly, we've got to figure out what this block here does. Well, it's actually very simple. That block there is powering this redstone wire. And this redstone wire powers all the way down to this last block here. You can see the the redstone lamps are on. Um, and it powers all the way over to here. And now you might be asking yourself, OK, so what does that do? Well, you might uh, remember that if you have a uh, block, something like this, uh, a block with a piston up there, and then you power this block. Now, this thing here is technically powered, right? If we update this, say, with a, um, with a redstone update, like this, then suddenly this block um, updates itself and so these go straight up now as soon as this um, deactivates the piston will actually withdraw itself um, and that's the main principle that we have here these um, this line of lights actually powers the pistons down here and it powers them up and then pushes up against this lamp here. Now, about two ticks later, or one tick later, depending where the pistons are, um, and where the, ah, where the repeaters are, this line here updates. And what this does is it updates all of these pistons, um, not simultaneously, because it's got that repeater there, but... Um, pretty much instantly it just updates all the pistons so all the pistons suddenly retract now you might be asking what happens next because now what we've got is we've got the pistons retracting the water's flowing over but there's a problem all your items are falling in the middle here and we don't want that we want a collection bay so the next thing that happens is that signal is inverted here and from this update line it's just inverted and put into this line of repeaters and redstone and this goes all the way around to um, down here and into these torches over here um, and that uh, they power these uh, trapdoors here now, with um, the version 2, I'm just going to quickly go over this now. <laughs> Instead of having the torches and the, bl the block and the torches, see, the block would be here, the torch would be on the side, and then the, um, the trapdoor would be on the side of that block there. Um, instead, you have the pistons. And the reason <laughs> being why, why we have pistons is because unfortunately you can't attach uh, trap doors to uh, these transparent blocks, these um, tilled soil blocks, because they're transparent. 
but you can attach signs. So instead we have signs and this piston floor which retracts and all is good. But everything else in this design is exactly the same. It's just now we're using sticky pistons pointing out. You can also use regular pistons pointing out into the center. I just thought that would look a bit messy and when you're walking along you'd be like bumping up and down like continuously. And I didn't think, you know, that was very um very pleasing for one to have. Now the final thing that happens is this signal here gets inverted again. Alternatively you could take this signal and run it along here but then that would mess up with this system down here which I'll talk about later. But this comes along, inverts this signal and this in fact powers um, these blocks which powers these uh, trapdoors here. Now on the version 2 design instead of having that, instead of having the block here with the redstone on top of it we just replace that with this redstone torch and then we're just placing the piston directly on top of that and then I put stairs because stairs are you know much nicer to walk up than having to jump up a trap door which was, it doesn't look like you'll be able to make that jump and that's what I don't like about this design anyway so let's move on to the next part so the whole thing activates and you fall down here and you go into this collection bay um, so how does that collection bay work well it's actually pretty simple all you have is you have water currents that push your items um, away and I was originally thinking okay so I could just use this design here but there's a problem with that. If you just use the, the bottom design here, what happens if items fall down here? They will literally just stay there forever until they despawn. So instead, I came up with a um, solution. And instead, if an item falls down this middle bit here, it'll go straight down into this bottom stream and then be carried on. And you also have these streams here, which actually push any other items that fall in here all the way into these holes, and then that goes on back to that way again. So let me just quickly get out of here. Okay, so the final thing that we need to go over is the, um, the modularness of it. Basically what this these this section here does is by changing the um, levers here we actually change the water flow now I'm just going to quickly change texture packs so we can see this easier okay so we're in our x-ray texture pack now and now we can see this much clearer um, so currently the this lever is pulled down which is deactivating that torch there and what's that, what that's doing is that's making this sure that this piston is retracted. Right? So, whenever we uh, flip the lever, like flip the lever here, the piston comes down and it allows this water flow. And this flows out. And in the other designs, there's not a sign here. This sign is just to stop the water flowing out all over the floor here. Okay, so say we've got um, items flowing in from this end and we want them to flow through the system and then through to the other side so what do we do? well we basically just activate these valves in such a way that the water from here is actually redirected through here and then it will come out of here and then into the next module now to do go the opposite way we just flick the gates in the other way and I'm calling them water gates uh, I think that's a appropriate way of calling them of uh, naming them sorry and here we can see if the items come along they'll be boosted by this water and then boosted further on this way now note that this bit here must be made out of ice um, also note that 
these sign bits here also must be made out of ice otherwise the whole system won't work right now I'm just going to show you quickly how the modules work so for the modules we do the same thing with the water gates down there and now what we have is we have the repeaters which are repeating um, the signal onto the next um, onto the next section here so see this redstone comes along here this section here is shared by these two modules and then the signal comes along and is repeated onto the next section and uh, yeah basically that's how the the system works guys um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you again next time. Alright, see you guys.